Home Brew Wednesday again. Didn't do one last week because uh, didn't really have anything to uh, put up. Let's try a home brew. It's, uh, hmm. Little multi demon I done some time ago. Uh, two can kit, one can of can't remember. <laughs> And uh, one of the um, malt extract kit. One and a half kilos of malt, and then I put some Munich grains and some crystal. And uh, tried to do a, a Belgian y style multi bear. Uh, it's got quite bitter again now, slightly fruity. Fruit esters come from uh, the uh, fermentation temperatures, which went a little bit awry. So um, it's not from the hops. <coughs> it's one of them ones. It's not great, but it's drinkable, and you made it, so you're going to drink it. <laughs> so what we got this week? Not much, really. Nothing on the brew front. Monology this week it wasn't last week, but um, I don't have a lot of men's names, so I'm a bit wishy washy. <coughs> so, um, managed to find a deal on 3 8 airline. Um, managed to get 30 meters of it for 12 13 quid because um, I've got, got coolant lines as well to go in. So, uh, get that and uh, obviously just put different coloured tapes around it to identify what lines going where and doing what. Got a few more bits to get. Um, also got the five metres of silicone hose after ordering the um, meter long samples. If I can get them before the apples fall down. I went for the smaller one, slightly cheaper, and got the five metre length of it for the uh, various connections of pumps. I also had my eBay uh, purchases turn up. I had me two valves. Let's not talk about valves coming from China, but these ones did turn up via the eBay seller. But the other ones with all the fittings are still in limbo somewhere, which I'm going, I don't know how long that's been now, quite some time, so I've put through um, for as a undis I disputed it and um, put it through as a undelivered. He's now uh, rejected the claim, so I've gone to arbitration and sort of thing. Because the tracking details show it's being delivered, my tracking number that I've got for it was via Swiss Air, yeah, spider, to Latvia. <laughs> I know we're a little bit remote out here, but uh, nowhere near Latvia. Although if you take a walk around the town, you probably think otherwise. But yeah, so um, we've got one more of the Camelot fittings, and a bunch of the other ones that go on the hoses to connect to the pumps and such like. So we'll have the regular ball valves for the um, HLT coil reset coil um, one on the pump to regulate flow possibly one on a boil kettle for a uh, whirlpool depends on whether these are friggin valves turn up I don't think they are going to so we're still waiting for a few more pieces to come in also done another order last week With some hops going cheap so now I likes me deals um, 100 grams of Simcoe, 100 grams of Pilgrim, uh, oh yeah, we got the Raquel, after seeing two Dino's review of his beer he done, and um, I'm quite intrigued by the hop, another New Zealand hop, 
and um, they was reasonable price, they're 2013 Harvest season, which is probably why. 11.3 acid, 100 grams, I, don't know, I can't remember what top we had they were, they were not a bad price, I didn't pay over five and a half quid for any of them. So, um, I was quite interested on the flavour profiles on that one, so I thought I'd get some of those as well. Well, I make room in the freezer for them now. Gerillo, we've got some of those. These are all pretty much dual purpose hops. Um, oh, we've got some Nugget. There should be uh, some Magnum in pellet form. There's two of those. Sorry, Archie Ace. Summit. Yeah, two packs of Summit, they were quite cheap, they were. And uh, just the Sorry Archie Ace, which I quite like that in Saisons. So, um, thought I'd get them while they were cheap. I think hops are going to get quite expensive next year. More and more breweries, more and more demand. Humbreys on the increase. We have a poor harvest. Stuff's going to go silly well. I mean, some hops are already getting up to £8 a pack. And I ain't going to be paying £8 a pack. Hence growing our own hops. But um, they have not come out too well. The uh, Cascade and Styrian Goldings are pretty much fooked. The wild hops have made a big comeback. They are producing little cones or little flowers at the minute. They seem very late this year. I don't know whether they are. I know some of the guys posted pictures on Hop Co-op there. Uh, a little bit ahead of mine, I see Sammy the Thrifty Brewer in Canada has already sort of harvested his little, sort of little handful, but um, you don't get a lot off the first years anyway, but um, my two haven't even produced um, the side shoots uh, and then grown the little flower that turns into the hot cone. Uh, so I don't know whether it's a disease or too, you know, they've been in the sun, got too hot and um, too dry, which I suspect is probably it's more to do with sort of lack of water. It's a very heavy clay, <coughs> so they're obviously not going to be able to grow very fast in the root. So uh, they're not looking too good this year, unfortunately, but uh, we'll see, plot along. Also, uh, for the kegs, I was looking at some sight glasses I've got a little cheap one that cost me about 17 quid that I was going to convert a Verco boiler. Similar to uh, what Scoosey done with his. Um, but I noticed a couple of people have had problems with the thread portion going into the brass or stainless steel fittings. Um, basically they can get a bit mullered or if you catch them they snap or they go brittle from the heat. So. Um, Excuse me. I looked at some 11 inch versions for the 50 litre kegs and a 16 inch version for the 100 litre keg. Going back to that 100 litre decision I have pretty much made my mind up to go back to a 50 and we'll do something else with the 100 litre keg. Um, but measuring them even an 11 inch one's not really long enough so I've got one, I bought this one from the Humbrew company in Ireland with the hops because um, it's exactly the same one as in China it's a couple of quid more but obviously well they only had the one else I'd have ordered the two and got them but uh, I've ordered another one from China and a false bottom and uh, the other uh, some washers stainless steel washers seals all those kind of things we saw just trying to think of everything that I'm going to need when I start the build. So invariably there will be something that will hold it up but uh, just sort of spreading the cost over the year so um, even though I sort of getting up or in excess of £400 possibly now that uh, it's been spread over such a period of time you don't really feel it. But anyway yeah I've got this one going back to the uh, the risk of damage catching them, or when you're disconnecting, turning them upside down, rinsing them out, clock them on the floor, break your sight glass. I got one in a stainless steel shroud or tube. 
I believe it's glass. Um, there's a seal each end and a little screw cap on the top with a little vent and the other end is just a threaded union that fits on to the piece that goes in your keg or your boil kettle. You've got provision there with a blanking plug to screw in a temperature probe or a thermometer. But they don't supply a nut and a seal but uh, again as I said I've ordered half inch stainless steel nuts, washers and such like. But yeah basically that screws in. If these do break you can buy these separate <coughs> to the fitting but uh, I priced buying this and buying that and that worked out dearer than buying the thing combined. Um, but I think they were about, this one was I think ran at about £21. And the other one works out about £18, £19. It's coming from China. So uh, there'll be that. And uh, that just screws in. Obviously, I'll need some PTFE tape. It's, I don't know whether to try and get a little thing to hold at the top to fit them because that will be around the band of the keg on this one but um, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it anyway I'll bore you no longer that's uh, pretty much it in the world of stainless steel so cheers to all the new subscribers seeing as a few more jumping on as the weeks go by Again, I lost the remote. <laughs> Under the hops. Yep, so we, <laughs> we shall soon need a bigger freezer. Mm, yeah, and I still haven't got the fridge as you can see. Uh, no fridge. Still at work. Pending uh, borrowing the van. More on that next week, possibly. Cheers.